the Emperor-class battleship is one of the finest examples of the Omnisire's infinite wisdom in service to the mighty Imperial Navy and the Basilican Astra. As far as the Archive Servitors have been able to determine, the Emperor-class dates from the founding of the Imperium of Mankind, possibly even serving prior to the rebellion of the thrice-cursed traitor. This is determined by the recovery of the Divine Right from a Space Hulk that the Adeptus Mechanicus have dated to be approximately 10,000 Terran years old. Such vessels take many years, indeed sometimes generations to construct, depending on the size of the shipyards in question and the blessings of the Machine God, as indicated by the appropriate and timely application of the Sacred Unguents, the burning of incense, and the incantation of the litany of percussive maintenance for each bolt and rivet that finds itself too overawed by its destiny to fully accept its place in the grand design, at least at first. Each vessel varies somewhat in size, with reports placing the vessels at between 8 and 12 kilometres long, depending again on the time period and location of construction. Whilst ponderous in acceleration, the vast plasma drives fitted to each vessel are capable of eventually accelerating them to a reasonable fraction of the speed of light, if given a long enough run-up. The vessel's other form of propulsion is a warp drive, capable of rending reality in twain to allow the ship, blessed by the God Emperor and protected by the Gellerfield generators, to plunge into the ruinous hellscape of the Immaterium the better to travel to other systems and sectors in order to bring his light and blessings to all worthy to receive them. For the Emperor class does not hold back its benefits from any, and any loyal citizen will appreciate deliverance from foul Xenos or traitor oppression as delivered by the ship's weapons just as much as those latter foul beings will appreciate being granted a cessation of their base existence to better pave the path for mankind's destined domination of the galaxy. Whilst many Imperial warships favour an armoured prow fitted with multiple torpedo launchers, the Emperor class instead is equipped with sensor clusters and forward-facing macro batteries, allowing it to see, target and destroy opponents at extreme ranges. Backing this up, an array of the Imperium's finest lance batteries adorn the spine of the vessel, bringing the golden light of him on Earth to all his foes. Along each broadside, and mounted a single further array of macro batteries and two large hangar bay complexes, although the exact layout of these features may differ from vessel to vessel. From these hangars, a wide variety of craft can be dispatched, fighters to protect the ship and others in the fleet, bombers to meet out desolation upon our foes, and assault craft to take back what is rightfully ours, or deny it to the enemy if that is the Emperor's will. Along with many metres of adamantine plate, the ship is also protected by multiple layers of void shield generators, which function by shunting much of the energy of an opponent's feeble assaults into the warp, where it may wreak further destruction upon the foul denizens of that realm. Additionally, numerous defence turrets guard against close passes by attack craft and incoming torpedo and boarding torpedo strikes. But whilst these weapons may well be rated as the great centrepieces of armies on the mundane surfaces of planets, within the realm of his most mighty and blessed navy, these are but trifles not worthy of individual mention. Indeed, even the great macro cannon are simply numbered and grouped into batteries, even though these weapons may hurl shells the size of hab blocks at the foe. Many are the names and numerous the victories achieved by these vessels, Although in a few cases the greatest sacrifice has been given to achieve victory, it is not often or quietly that such a vessel falls. The Dominus Astra, for example, sundered its own warp drive, but in so doing took a significant portion of the Tyranid High Fleet codenamed Behemoth with it screaming into the warp. But still others continue to serve. The Divine Right, Legatus Stiges, Pax Imperialis, Lord of Light and Indomitable Wrath, are but a few of many such vessels to safeguard the Imperium from threats within and without. We are constantly exhorted to hate the mutant, the Xenos, and the heretic, and by the might of these vessels, so shall we deliver the unflinching judgment of the Emperor to those who would seek to halt his vision. Ave, Dios Imperator.
Sika in Emesis.